All right, so we are on the inside of VidTune, and uh, I just wanted to kind of show you not only how this works a little bit, but even show you just how well put together this software is. I mean, look at this. When you first load it up, it, uh, it goes full screen, has this nice little animation in the background, uh, and then, of course, you're going to put in your authorized email and hit log in. Okay, and here we go. Now, this is the first time I've come into VidTunes 2.0, literally. This is the absolute first time I've done this. So you can see here, no recent projects. Uh, please log into your account and visit the marketplace to download templates for the club members. If you're not a club member, click here to upgrade. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to, you can obviously hit load if you want, but um, unless you have anything to load up, that's not going to help you too much right now. So we're going to come over here to new. We're going to give this project a name. I'm just going to call it test. And the dimensions, we're going to go with, uh, ooh, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Got all these different pre-set up size formats, which is kind of nice. So let's just do a YouTube video. And it's going to be 1920 by 1080, which is perfect. We're going to hit create. And it's going to set everything up for us. Okay, so going over the interface, you've got a few different things here. First and foremost, your canvas area. This is where you're going to see the actual animation as you create it. And you've got your control buttons down at the bottom of that. Below that, you have your timeline. Now, this is a little bit different than a traditional video timeline because rather than just you know audio and video tracks, you've actually got your image tracks. But then if you go through this, you'll have uh, character tracks and um, different things like that in here. So you can see speaking tracks, etc. So it's a little bit different, same type of idea, but just kind of separated by the type of content that you're going to be doing here. Over here, you've got your elements, and then of course, you've got your different menu items here. So uh, for instance, in this case here, we've got the backgrounds chosen here. Here are your backgrounds, and you can see there's a bunch of different backgrounds in here. And if you come over here, you can actually upload your own stuff. Here's where your characters are. If you've got Pixabay attached, which I don't yet, that'll be here. And the same thing for Icon Finder and for Giphy. Your text tools are going to be right here. These are your transitions. This is your voiceover music. You can see they've got a bunch of music tracks in there already for you. And then here you can upload uh, some video as well. And then your default scenes as you create them in here as well. So we're going to come back up here to the top. And the way that this works is very simple drag and drop. So for instance, right here, we've got an air conditioning scene. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click on it and drag it in. Now you'll notice at the bottom where it turns red there, that's showing you that the background area is what's being added to. And there's your background. It goes for one second. Of course, we want this to be longer than one second. So we're going to drag this up to seven and a half. And the reason seven and a half is we're going to make a 15 second clip, but we'll have two different scenes. So that's scene number one. Then maybe we want to add a second scene to this. Uh, maybe our guy is working in a bakery. So we'll drop the this in here as well. Okay, and in this case here, we're going to bring that over. Drag that out to our 15. And so now we got a 15 second little animation where it's going to transition from one to the other. So we have something going on here. And then boom, goes to the bakery. And you can see there's a little bit of a black splash there. So we'll just move that over a little bit. Make sure that we cover that. And so now we need to add some characters to this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our characters section here. And in this case, uh, we'll be having our guy, maybe he's uh, like a plumber, electrician, H a HVAC guy. So we'll come here and we'll find somebody. Maybe we've got a plumber there got this electrician guy. I'm going to choose the electrician guy, I think. And so again, all you do is take him, oops, take him and drag him into here. And now you can resize him by using this tool in the corner. It's not an X, it's actually four arrows. It's telling you that you can expand upon him, just like that. So make him about this tall, and yeah, make him a little bit taller than that. And then we'll put him standing in front of what are the little soup little thing is there. 
Okay, so this is the electrician. He's coming to fix the AC and he's coming to work on items in the back with the kitchen. Okay, so now you'll notice down here in the timeline, we've got him only for a few seconds. So what we can do here is we can bring him to the beginning if we want. And then we can stretch him out for all 15 seconds or so. Okay, and so now you can see there's our guy. And if we press play on this, we're going to see that he's just kind of waving and talking. So this is where you'd put your voiceover in that might say like, hey, I'm Bob and I come and I'll fix your AC unit, but I can also work on your commercial units. Okay, so you can see very, very easy to set this up. Um, but of course, we want to be able to have more than just that one animation of Bob. So we do have some options. And that's the next thing I want to talk about are your settings, which are up here. So if we select Bob, you'll see that in the settings, we've got all sorts of different options, such as a start and end time, which quite honestly, it's probably easier to do that in the timeline than it is here. But if you've got exact times, you want to come in at exactly five seconds, you can do that. Um, you can flip Bob around so that he's facing the other direction if you want. You can loop him like we have now where he continues to, continues to go. We can also have him appear. Now this is more important for graphics than for people uh, or characters, but you can, get, you can have different types of um, in, in animations and out animations. Yeah, as you can see, you've got from the left and the right, up, down, zoom, fade in, all of those are in there. And the same thing for the disappearance from the scene. Now this could be good, for instance, in our background scenes, because in our background scene, we go from one to another. So if we really wanted to, what we could do is we could create a transition in there and drag this thing back out. There we go to 15. And so we could say, uh, you know what? We want to have a, a, uh, an animation as we switch from one to the other. So we could come in here and we could say disappear animation and we can move it to the right. Okay, and so you can see there's the transition, that little white box. And so we'll wanna drag this back just a little bit to make sure that we cover all of that. And then we should have a transition in there. Now, if we go back, you'll see that, uh oh, it doesn't seem to have that transition. Well, there's a reason for that. And that is because we do have um, layer options in this as well. So we want to make sure that we've got, actually, let's hit play to make sure I'm not incorrect on that first of all. Yeah, so as you can see, it's just kind of jumping from that right now. So what we need to do is we need to change the order of this one here to put it on top. And then when we go back, it should now have the transition there. There we go. Okay, so just make sure that the one that you're doing the transition, if it's the top one, make sure that it's actually arranged in that order. The timeline does not necessarily reflect which one is, quote, on top of it, uh, like it might do in a traditional video uh, timeline. So it's a little bit different as far as that goes, but same type of idea. Okay, so now we've got our little scene going on here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to animate Bob in a few different ways. To work on our character, we're going to go down to the characters area in the timeline, which is right here, and we'll select our character. Now we can do a lot of different things to him, but what I want to do is I actually want to have a few different animations in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scale him back by clicking on this here and scaling him down like this. And then what we can always do, like maybe somewhere around here where that transition happens, Okay, so this is where it's going to go from the one to the other. So somewhere right about there. What you can do is you can actually duplicate your character. Okay, so if we hit duplicate, so now, now according to the timeline, it's going to just look like he's there because it's the exact same character, same size. So everything that we did here is going to be applied to this here. But what we can do now is we can come over here and we could change the actual animation. I'm going to put it on a different level here just so you can see the two different ones. Now we can come over here and we could do something like change the actual animation. We could also flip them back and forth. So if we wanted them to just kind of do like a little flippy thing there, we could certainly do that. Okay. Not too exciting to just do that. So we're going to flip him back. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the animation here because you get a lot of different ones from running to talking on the phone. The speaking one is kind of the default. Okay, you could be handshaking, you'd be driving a car. We won't have them drive a car. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then we've got, by the way, you've got different versions of your character. So you've got like um, 
woman version. You've got uh, an African American version. So it's up to you what you want to use with that. But maybe for this one, I will switch to talking on the phone. So he's going to pick up his phone now. Okay. So oh, actually, he changed races too, but that's okay. <laughs> for our purposes, yeah, that's fine. We don't mind. We don't mind that. <laughs> well, maybe that looks a little weird. So <laughs> what we can do is we can go back into here and get the correct one. Let's go back up to the top here. Talking on phone. There we go. So now he doesn't magically morph into a different person. Let's see, he picks up the phone. Now, mind you, he's going to loop with this, so what we could do with this one, too, is we could turn off the looping of that, um, and then that way he picks up the phone once. Okay? So then we can come back here. And then he freezes there. So now maybe what we want to do is go, uh-oh, he got the phone call. He's got to go fix something else. So uh, let's get another, well, let's actually duplicate him again. And it looks like that's off just a touch there. And I'll put this one down um, below just so we can separate and see the difference. And so now maybe for this one, we'll have an animation of him running away. <laughs> Whatever was on the phone was not good. He's now going to run away. So you can see now he's going to run. Okay. Uh, we do want to make sure the loop is on with that. And he's going to run. Of course, running in place doesn't do much for us, right? So what we want to do is we want to do what's called an A to B move. So right here, you've got move A to B. And so we're going to click that there. And you'll see there's this flag. And you can drag this flag and have him run. OK, so now we come back here. <laughs> and there he goes off the screen. So you can see very quickly and easily, we've done a pretty nice little animation uh, despite the fact that we're brand new at this and we've never done this before, you know, we've put together a nice little animation. So we get our guy and he picks up the phone. Oh no. And then he runs off. <laughs> now he does run off a little bit uh, silly there. So we could adjust that, of course, to make the running look a little more realistic because right now he's kind of moving his legs faster than he's actually making progress, which is a cartoony thing to do. But of course, we could make that a little better, you know, by changing the time and, and having him move a little quicker with that. But I think that's perfectly fine. And then we go back to our scene here. And of course, you could add something to the end of this. So if we wanted to put maybe some text into here, okay, we could come over and we could do some text. And that would allow us to, uh, you know, have something at the end there when he disappears. So we could come over here and we could drag in some text in there. And boom, there's our text. Now, again, we can find where our character goes and disappears. So maybe right about there when he disappears, we could then have some text come in. That's going to fill the screen. Obviously, you know, we can just move that to wherever we want. Put whatever text it is that we want to put in there. And then we'd have a nice little message at the end that uh, would allow us to, you know, kind of create that little message that we wanted to make with that. And let's drag that to our 15. And there we go. And so that's how easy this is to set up. You can see it's not a very difficult process, but you can do some really cool things. And if you're creating um, animated videos for explainer videos and, and whatever project you want to be putting together, this could be a very, very useful tool. Lots of neat things in here. And like I said, you've got your transitions. You've got your text to voice that you can put in here, which by the way, text to speech, which you can do. Uh, you've also can record your voice. So if we wanted to put text to speech at the end of this, we could do that as well. Put that uh, right at the same spot. Hello world. And adjust that. Hello world. Come into our settings. Okay, and this is where we can say, you know, Bob. B. Bob. Bob. Is. Bob. Always. Bob. Bob. On the Bob. move. Bob. <laughs> Bob is always on the move. Now, of course, you know, whether you like text to speech or not is up to you. I would record my voiceover, but a lot of people love this text to speech and you can do it very quickly and easily. So um, there's different versions of that too. You can put in the Google API for that. You can choose your voice in here. So if we wanted to have uh, Alva. Bob is always on the move. Okay. You got different voices for different uh, purposes in here. So we can do Thomas. 
Boogie Salway on the move. <laughs> so it's got foreign voices in there, as you can hear. <laughs> Bob is always on the move. You can adjust your volume. And of course, once you're done with that, all you have to do is render and export. So there you go. That's the basics. Now, again, this is me using VidTune for, or VidTune 2, because I've used the original version. Uh, and this is a lot different than the original. But this is me using VidTune 2 without any testing beforehand, um, just doing it right out of the box. I did watch some of the training videos that they have. They do have quite a few training videos, and I've looked at portions of some of the training videos, AKA I haven't watched much training like I should have. But obviously we can put something together just by kind of figuring it out and looking at it. If you watch the uh, training videos, you'll get a lot more out of this and be able to do a lot more fun stuff. But very, very easy to put together a nice, animated video and of course uh, I, I briefly mentioned it but you can add music to this as well so if you want to add a nice tune to this you can certainly do that and make it even better so all you'd have to do for a tune is again just choose one and drag it in and there we go we got our tune and let's hear what this sounds like I didn't listen to it first obviously so it might be terrible or it might be great <laughs> On the move. Okay, now obviously you do want to adjust your volumes and things so you can hear the text that you do and whatnot, but there you go. That's a pretty basic animation done very, very quickly and easily. Um, I'm enjoying this program. I think you could have a lot of fun with this, and it's a little better than the old explainer style videos that were very, very basic. They, um, you know, just had some text on there and whatnot. But with this, you can do some really cool stuff, have a lot of fun with it. So check it out. If you got questions, let us know, and we'll talk to you guys soon.